Good morning, Kevin. What What is that down there, sir? Oh. Where is your wife, Bigoton? My gate is frozen shut. Oh, don't mind if I do. Petunia with the green eye. They found the poop corner. <laughs> okay, Popper, let's go. Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to be going to pick up a couple clappy blappies from somebody who can't take care of them now with this weather. It's very cold outside right now, and I'm bringing my little tortoise inside because he can't be in 40 degree weather, and the cappies can't be in 36 degree weather. So I'm going to go up and pick up these two cappies. We're going to be taking care of them during the cold. And these people may even be giving them to us. And away we go. On the way into the folks' Let's place to have these again. cappies, they also have all these door below cows. And then they got in the way of my vehicle and it wouldn't let me pass. Okay, I think I'm stuck here. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Excuse me. This is the setup they had for their clappy blappies. They're about the same age as mine. As you can see, they don't really have any hay for them. Uh, and they were kind of shivering under this light whenever I walked in. The windows are just kind of made of fence and there's no real insulation it's just metal well it's nice that they have electric running to it it's way too cold outside for these guys to be in here it's actually 20 degrees well 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 don't mind if i do <laughs> wow look at all these beautiful wild ducks and these adorable little boys this, uh, this is right downtown as you can see these sigma chad white geese are the alpha males of the pack and they scared away these other guys for their food and we even got to see wood ducks up close which are my favorite birds then I did a diabetes speed run and came home. Okay, I'm finally home now. And look at all this ice that's been accruing on my vehicle. Don't mind if I do. Looks like the gate is frozen shut. There are literally icicles everywhere. Wow, look at this icicle here. My entire house is just covered in ice. And just look at my car antenna. Wow, this doesn't even make any sense. Wow, look at this. Okay, the clappy blappies are doing well in here and so are the marsupials everything is neat and clean in here for the most part and we are ready to introduce our new siblings and here they are you guys this is gort and quandale as you can see gort is the one on the left quandale is the one on the right these two i believe are both i can't tell what gender they are just from looking <gasps> wow we can tell these ones are different because they are a little bit smaller than gordon quandale although they're probably about the same age from what i've heard don't think they were getting fed the same amount wow look this is them meeting for the first time look at gort sniffing that little boy the beauty of capybara friendship and acceptance happy blappies this truly is the moment in Urban Rescue Ranch history. And this is a much, much warmer place than the last place they were at. With much more forage and hay for them to chew on. Much more fresh water for them to drink. Not to mention much more food. And I'm going to put two more heat lamps over here for them as well. Looks like they found the poop corner. <laughs> okay, we now have two heat lamps right here. And as soon as this big nightmare is over, I'm going to let these guys all free range outside again. But it looks like the truth trees are all icicles and the yard is completely flooded but it's a little dark so i'm gonna go ahead and wait in game like in skyrim good morning everybody it is tomorrow as you can see everything has melted outside kind of cringe tbh this morning i spent some time reading the based scriptures to my adorable little torbtol here who is now getting really used to me and adorable because it's kind of cold though he's not eating a lot or drinking which is okay because he has friendship every morning after i'm done reading to him i take him out into the living room and i give him some romaine lettuce and i do all this because it's way too cold for him outside and in the barn minecraft chest but this is what everything looks like yesterday it was a lot more icy first let's check on ounce topia looks like they are all still in hibernation mode this is the first big rain we've had here and as you can see the gutters make it flood this little section here so we need to do something about the grading here but now we have little ponds everywhere behind the barn isn't that nice you guys wow nice little ponds here now this will shift the foundation if we're not careful through tomorrow morning it would seem that the new clappy blappies are doing well here but they are staying in their own little areas which is interesting so i'm actually going to go ahead and put one heat lamp here and then one heat lamp over here so that these guys have their own heat obviously these guys are used to a much colder temperature and as you can see they're a little bit more skittish of me but this one does seem to be a bit more trusting and they all like to poop in this area which is great because i can just shovel all that up and get rid of it at least it's not in the water like it used to be but they do get along with each other but it's clear that my clappy blappies 
are much larger than these other ones. What's nice though is that these guys can finally be in a place where they don't have to worry about freezing to death or getting rained on indoors. And they also have infinite stuff to chew on, whereas before all they had was wood chips. It's nice of those people to reach out to us and give us these guys, but that should be a lesson to everybody watching this. Don't just go out and buy Clappy Blappies if you don't have a proper setup for them through the winter because they do need to be kept nice and warm. Even 36 to 38 degrees is too cold for these guys long term. And I saw frozen raindrops inside little things inside their enclosure. So it's safe to assume it was at most 32 degrees for these little guys in there, but likely it was probably a little bit colder. Actually still have one to two more days of this nasty weather. So before I can let these adorable baby boys out, we're gonna have to wait one or two more days. They are all doing great on food though. And they have lots of little things to do in here and chew on. Both enclosures are great on water. Even now that we have two more boys. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist a baby? Whoa, the baby, how forward. <laughs> you guys aren't even halfway done with their water and it's still nice and clean. And the Wobbies are pretty comfy and adorable, except for that one who is very cringe. Oh, is that? The baby's paw? The baby, are you trying to attack? What, what is that down there? Oh, what is that down there, the baby? You're being cringe. Okay, I'm gonna leave them alone for now. Oh, oh. I think these cappies are really happy here and they're enjoying having all of this space to run around and play. I think this is actually the most space these little guys have ever had in their entire lives. Okay, I just fed all these dinguses. They've been all hanging out here because they want to eat the goat's food. Petunia still got her own little shelter in the front and I'm really glad I did that because this would have been horrible for her. Like I've said a lot of times before you guys, the snow doesn't really kill most animals and the cold doesn't kill most animals, but what does is freezing rain. The pond filled up pretty nicely. All the grass is gonna grow back in a couple weeks, which I'm really excited for. In the last video, I told you guys that I wasn't gonna be putting the emus and the ostrich in here because they would be fine. And my buddy that actually does have a big ostrich farm, he didn't move his birds inside and they were all fine apparently. But I love my dinguses and I didn't wanna take the chance. So when I started to see icicles forming on these guys, I wasn't gonna just let them stay outside. But they did eat all their food, so I need to get them some more. There's still tons of puddles of water from the rain just about everywhere here. But all this grass is gonna be nice and healthy after all of this. Okay, good morning, Kevin. Roll call. How's everyone doing in here? Perfect. Okay, and they do have a little bit of food down there, but just like I thought, a lot of water got in here. But because it's like 35 degrees and the water's sheltered from the wind, it didn't freeze. And these guys don't lose a lot of body heat out of their feet. Having said that, they need food too. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a bag. I'm gonna give them a bag and they're gonna have one more night in there before I let them out again. I had to go up through Fort Worth to pick up those clappies and this is what I saw. Kinda cringe, TBH. If I didn't have a Jeep driving through that, that would have been a nightmare. But there you go, children. Some fresh kibbles and bits for you. Don't forget to share with Homelander now. Well, looks like Kevin's still attacking that fence. Oh, I suppose I'll give him some food as well. <laughs> well, looks like the troublemakers escaped, but these adorable babies stayed. I filled up the food trough over there and Karen's just getting to nibbling. I suppose it's okay if Soldier Boy comes out as well. It doesn't really matter too much now the big thing is the freezing rain is no longer here for the next couple days it's not going to be too cold oh look at them hopping around like that look at this adorable baby boy oh karen just did some little hops too look at her now these guys get to get back to eating some fresh grass in addition to all of that food i just put in there for nothing quite like watching ria zoomies after they've been cooped up for a few days look at how fast them boys can run well i suppose that's it for these guys i'm gonna go ahead and move on and feed the other animal but man did we get a lot of rain in the last couple days and just last night all of this was ice so that's another reason to keep these animals cooped up because they could slip on that stuff and get hurt the dogs have been preferring to hang out in the bus lately which is kind of adorable the queen is fine in this weather but poggers gets a little too cold petunia is thriving in here i need to give her some more food and water wow bigger tins ounce her tins hello my beautiful handsome man i've missed you this man came out because i threw a bunch of food on the ground oh where is your wife bigger tin ounce or tin i wish i could see what it looks like down there maybe we could strap a little camera to them so they can show us what their den looks like either way though guys most people keep their prairie dog enclosures in tiny little cages like this so this is a phenomenal setup for them they get uv light from this thing now so now they get some vitamin d and i'm not completely depriving them of sunlight they have infinite water over there and they barely drink it and i supplement their feed with this prairie dog specific formula and i throw it over here to encourage foraging even though all of this hay 
spray is also their food. Okay, thankfully these hoses still work and they didn't freeze. Went ahead and put this little boy on here. It's very important that you guys do that so that your lines don't freeze. We have two more nights of sub-freezing temperature. We'll go ahead and let Petunia out so she can drink her cringe uh, uh, water. Drink this water, Petunia. Petunia's always been really good about not destroying her watering bowl. Wow, look how precious she is. Oh, she's got colorful eyes. Normally you can't see her. Does she have green eyes, you guys? Petunia with the green eye? Who would have thought that she had such beautiful irises what a perfect majestic creature okay i just gave her some food she has the rest of this place to wander around now i don't think she'll be escaping anytime soon queen per usual ran over to chew on something that we were cooking in the fire oh look at that precious girl the popper time to give poppers that fresh drip stop it queen she's just attacking him is that hit rapper and artist Pobgers tipping on faux foes, Pobgers. Okay, Pobber, let's go. Goodbye. Bye, Pobber. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching my video. I love you. I appreciate you. This is what the last four nights have been like. I've just been living in here with this thing. It's really not that bad. I don't know why more people don't do it. I, I'm going to crank up the humidifier for them in a little bit. Also, Bimbus is still at the vet slash daycare and will be home tomorrow. But I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Ah!